Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you. For saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. How's it going? And welcome to the channel. So, John just met up with one Bonnie McFarlane. From there, she introduced him to the McFarlane Ranch, inquired about John's business out in the country, told him that he should meet up with one Lee Johnson, the sheriff of Armadillo. This is where we're headed now. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of them Williamson boys? Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? <clears throat> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or 
kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Let's do it. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Hello? So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. There's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Come on. Come on. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? Yeah! Yeah! Stay with me. I don't want to lose him. House. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. First, take that bastard behind the train. You fools are doomed. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Take that fellow behind the rock, boy. 
you ain't getting there, Walton. I'll back you up to hell's yeah. back door, Walton. I got you, boy. Make a move for that boulder. There's another one behind the outhouse, boy. There's one of them. Bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! 